Hey everyone, this is darkside 2 k 7 aka Sada Sky State. Happy Thursday everyone. So I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday morning. Damn! And I mean damn in a holy in a holy shit, I didn't see this one coming. So yeah, you know, as you may know, I made a video yesterday uh calling out LeBron James for uh being this fucking being this fucking brain dead and also um, was trying to dox an officer, uh, officer in Columbus, Ohio, who saved, who shot, who saved a little, who saved a black teen's life from Micaiah Bryant, a 16-year-old who was shot, who was shot and killed by the officer, after, who was trying to stab the, stab the girl, stab the other black teenage girl. And and also I took a look. Not only also I took a look at the body cam footage and saw that that bitch had a knife, which is an arm and deadly weapon. And I also listened to the and I also listened to the um, nine one one calls. So basically, to me, it's a just it's justified. However, for LeBron James, he decided to go go on fucking Twitter the other day, uh other day well, yesterday to be precise and put out and put out the officer's picture and said with a tweet called you're next with hashtag accountability and he got a lot of blow and of course he got a blowback from, from Clay Travis uh Clay Travis of Outkick love his love his stuff man love his stuff and well he deleted a tweet and I thought maybe he'll shut the fuck up and don't do anything stupid, right? <sighs> if that was the case, I'm gonna be making this video now, would I? I think y'all gonna. I think you all know what I'm. You know what the answer is, because as soon he came out and wrote some uh, dumb tweet, saying that uh, he was missing, saying that he, not being angry doesn't. Doesn't do us anything. He's like he's so he's so desperate for uh, accountability, for accountability. He was saying some of the most asinine tweets of all imaginable, and to no one and to my surprise, I he got be, he was being called out, not only by normal uh, Twitter people, but blue verified check marks. Now keep in mind on Twitter, if you're a blue ver a blue verified check mark means that anything a a celebrity or athlete who leaves fucking left uh say something, they'll hop onto it and defend it while call everyone else out out for the blatant um for their um for not being quote unquote educated enough. Well well, not this is not the case. This is not fucking the case because now they're coming out and calling out LeBron James being the most being a hypocritical hypocritical piece of fucking dog shit, which, which he is. And some of the tweets that they was they was shooting at him, whoo boy, they hit him. They hit him, man. I mean, they called him out on his his silence on hypocrisy, uh, his his hypocrisy on the Yeager. You got muscles that are still in concentration camps in China, and uh, also, and also say that, and also calling them out for you know trying to, try to uh, bring hate and, and division to people to have people fight against each other, and say that, and they say that the only reason why he's pu he's pushing this divisive bullshit is to help the one percenters, and not the ninety nine percent. The ninety nine percent would be. Okay, if you in case y'all don't know what that was, those those meanings are, the ninety nine percent is is means all normal Americans, Americans like you and me, and the one the percenters who are the global elite, you know, motherfuckers who are rich as fuck. Even even former baseball player Aubrey Hurley, if I mispronounce your name, sir, I'm sorry. Even called him out in a tweet that says, "Fuck you, LeBron." Fuck you, LeBron James, for your device for trying to dox and ruin a police officer's life, of life for doing his damn job. I bet you, if it, I, I bet you, if, if it was your son who was who was being stabbed, you would sing a you would sing a fucking tune, you piece of shit. You're usually the main reason why the NBA lost eighty percent in the ratings last fall and no surprise it's, it's keep going down because the motherfucker doesn't know when to shut up and do his job which is just play basketball 
and also it is late. Lots of people, are lots of people are coming out and saying that I don't want to watch. I this that tweet with LeBron James put out is one of the main reasons why um why uh they, that person don't want to watch MLB. I mean, watch the NBA, like millions of other Americans. That's of course because LeBron James opens his mouth, and every time he opens his mouth, he spout fucking bullshit. And of course, like, and no surprise, the me the sports media like ESPN, they won't talk about it. They won't hold LeBron James accountable, or the NBA will hold him accountable. I mean, if I look at LeBron, look at ESPN's uh, page through Clay Travis, he did. They didn't even put it up there. The only thing I see is Freud's George Floyd's brother praising um, the Raiders for that dumbass tweet. It's just like you're not you were you were dumbass for that. You're a dumbass for that. So I would be disappointed he's gonna get hate on this. But yeah, I but yeah, I think it's not and all, I think the reason what LeBron failed to realize is that people like me are sick and tired of the lies. We're sick and tired of this of this racial division and personally, in my honest opinion, we're just sick and tired of the fucking bullshit. But Bullshit. The officer did his job. He said, he said that uh, he said the the black fem a uh, black te female teenager for being murdered by another black female teenager. Yet for some reason, LeBron James is upset that the officer killed Makia Bryant, the black teenager who was holding a knife, go who was going to kill a black. Kill another black female teenager. So, by what I'm hearing from LeBron James, what he said in those tweets, he said that he is all that he is a okay with black on black murders. He said he said he said that he's he's every he's okay with black out with black on black murders. And he wants to smear a hero cop for to have his life and livelihood destroyed and ruined despite the fact he saved a black teen. But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because no one in the media, they're going to do the same thing too because they don't want, because the media nowadays, they don't want positive stories. They want negativity. They want to spread hate Spread hate and fear on the airways every fucking night. Because all because it because journalists in America nowadays, they're not real journalists. They're paid activists and paid propagandists. And LeBron James is one of the many useful idiots that that they like to use to push their bullshit. And once they got as and once they got but uh, got their use, got as many uses as they can out of, out of useful idiots like Rod James. Don't toss them to the tr to the side like fucking trash. So, I'm gonna say this to LeBron: Fuck you, fuck you. You wanna you you wanna trash a cop who saved the life of a black teen for being murdered by a black teen? Means that. You don't get, means that you fucking support black on black murders. You support us being killed by our, us being killed on our own. Fucking hell. Now I see why, now I see why white people is, uh, care about, I don't see why white people would care about each other than we do, than, than black people do. You want to know why? I'll tell you guys why. Because 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 same as you want about white people, at least they know how to at least for the most part, at least they know how to get along and work together. Us, us black folk, we're our own worst enemies. We'll do not all we ever do is want to hold each other down and destroy each other because over some petty bullshit. And people like LeBron James. Will do will do nothing but do that shit to ruin our own fucking to lead us to our own fucking demise.
Fuck you! You fucking racist bigot ass bitch!